Democrats push bill to stop Trump launching preemptive North Korea strike amid WW3 fears. The no unconstitutional strike against North Korea bill would prohibit an attack on North Korea without congressional approval. Instead of military action. The bill calls for President Trump and the White House to pursue a diplomatic resolution to ongoing tensions between the US and North Korea. However the bill makes exceptions when it comes to repelling a sudden attack, defending the US allies and rescuing US personnel. The bill was launched by Democrats John Conyers in the House of Representatives and Ed Markey in the Senate. Supporters of the bill have acknowledged that it will not pass without more backing from Republicans. At present, the bill has only two Republican co-sponsors in Congress. Congressman Conyers said, as a veteran of the Korean War, I am ashamed that our Commander-in-Chief is conducting himself in a reckless manner that endangers our troops stationed in South Korea and our regional allies. Senator Markey added, President Trump's provocative and escalatory rhetoric, with threats to unleash fire and fury and totally destroy North Korea, cannot be allowed to turn into reality. As long as President Trump has a Twitter account, we must ensure that he cannot start a war or launch a nuclear first strike without the explicit authorization of Congress. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Chief James Mattis yesterday warned that North Korea should prepare for a U.S. onslaught if it continues to escalate its war rhetoric. Mr. Mattis, speaking after visiting the demilitarized zone on the Korean border, said North Korea could not be allowed to repeatedly threaten others with catastrophe with its fast-growing nuclear war program and that his aim was to denuclearize the Korean peninsula. He added, we are doing everything we can to solve this diplomatically, everything we can. But ultimately our diplomats have to be backed up by strong soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines.